percentage of a quantity. So you might already know that 50% of 20 is 10. But why is this? That's because the to find the percentage of something, you're always taking, you take the percent, divide it by 100, and times it by the thing you want to find the percentage of, so the quantity. So let's apply that here. We take our 50%, divide it by 100, and whatever we want to find 50% of is what we multiply it by. To make things a little easier, you could put it over 1. Let's times across now, numerator and numerator. So 50 times 20 is actually going to be 1,000, and 100 times 1 is going to be 100, and 1,000 divided by 100 is just 10. So that's why 50% of 20 is 10. Let's do one that's slightly harder. Let's find 32% of 80. Now, we take our percentage, put it over 100, and times by the thing we want to find the percentage of, in this case, the 80. Now, a good little trick is to make sure that your denominator is 10 or 100 to make things easy. We can easily make it 10 by dividing by 10 diagonally. So here we're going to get 32 over 10 times 8 over 1. Now let's multiply our numerators together and our denominators together. So 10 times 1 in the denominator gives us 10. 32 times 8. A good trick by multiplying by 8 actually is to just double it 3 times. So doubling 32 gives us 64. Doubling 64 gives us 128, and doubling 128 gives us 256. That's a good little trick to multiply by 8. And dividing by 10, we're just going to move the decimal place one place to the left. So we get 25.6 as our final answer. Thank you.